show. I've never done this before. I'm going to see how it goes. I always have Bob Walma helping me out, one of our photographers at the gallery. But I'm going to show you how we make a mug. First you center it. And the goal of centering is just to get all your clay going around at the same way and uniform. No lumps and bumps going around. No wibbly wobblies. I don't know if those are real words or not, but... So to make a mug, I usually use about a pound and a quarter of clay. I'm throwing with porcelain. I like to throw pretty dry. So after centering, you need to make your first hole in the center of the clay. And you go down, and after making, say, four or five hundred mugs, you know how far down you can go so that you don't go all the way down to the wheel head, but just enough so that then you can cut it off the wheel when you're done. And then I use a rib to compress the bottom of my mug and to also make sure that it's the same width every single time that I make one. Pulling it back in. Make sure my rim is even, compressed. Make a spot at the bottom to pull the clay up. And now we're going to pull the walls up. Did I mention that throwing with porcelain is like throwing with cream cheese? You have to know exactly what you're doing before you start. You can't change your mind halfway. You can change your mind halfway with porcelain. And it's never a perfect world. There's always something that doesn't go exactly the way it did the last time you made it. And once you've made quite a few, you learn to adjust along the way. And most of the time it works out. But if it doesn't, hey, it's just clay. Take it off, re-wedge it, start over. It's getting a little dry here, so my inside hand is starting to pull on the clay. That's okay. I have to throw the sponge because then I don't have a lot of water standing and it also kind of sops it back up again. I get to keep using the same amount of moisture all the way up the wall of whatever you're creating. When I make a mug, my goal is to have my base the same size at the bottom and have the top of it almost the same. Clay shrinks between 11 and 13 percent depending on what kind of clay you're using. So my mugs, I measure the top of them to be about four and a half inches across and I want them to be about six inches tall. Because then when they shrink, they're about five inches tall and they're about three and a half, three and a quarter inches wide. And that makes for a really nice cup to drink out of. Enough room to put, if you're a big coffee drinker, ice cream, tea, anything else you want to put in it. Soup. It's tall enough. It's wide enough. And let's slow our wheel down a little bit. layer under it. 
and there we go.